It was thought to be lost forever, lost at the bottom of the ocean until a few divers came to the rescue. News Channel 5's Jake Hashmere has the long journey of one man's wallet and how it turned into quite a story. Most of what we do is spear fishing, but uh, yeah. we might be able to bring a fishing pole along. John Dickinson has logged plenty of hours in the ocean, taking every dive to its fullest. So when he stumbled upon this at 130 feet below the surface, he had quite a situation on his hands. I see a grouper. I go down, I shoot the grouper, and I look down and I see a wallet flashing at me. And I go, what in the world? Never did he think a wallet loaded with credit cards, $85 personal effects sitting on the ocean floor for a week would call his attention. Finding it was easy. Finding the owner was a different story. We noticed right away there were several business cards, but several little small pieces of paper with names. Giving up was not an option. Taking it as another man's loss was just plain wrong. And so the investigation began. A few divers sifted through a few waterlogged smeared numbers. It was enough to track down Gerald Celery, who couldn't believe his eyes. I got a call from my uh, eye doctor telling me that a guy found my wallet, and I said, no, that's impossible. <laughs> For a guy who didn't want any drama on the water, who just wanted to catch some fish, that wallet that slipped out of his pocket turned into quite a tale that caught the attention of hundreds of divers. I told Gerald that... Uh, the only thing I wasn't going to return to him was the winning lottery ticket. That <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I didn't have that one. But he didn't have one in there. <laughs> By the stroke of luck, what seemed impossible brought two men together, turning this fish tail into something that will be served over and over again as the one that didn't get away. It's good to know we still have people like that here. The honest people. In West Palm Beach, I'm Jay Cashmere, WPTV News Channel 5.